So prepare yourself for this view. Here we go. Ooh. Wow. Pretty spectacular. Remains. What have we got around here? The actual castle area itself and the workhouse. So three families own this castle, medieval castle, and the first structures were built out of wood around 1100. So this castle was built by Bigot in the 12th century. There's 13 towers like this one and as you can see there's various wooden structures which they could fight from and withdraw if needed if the castle was invaded and that's where they would shoot their arrows from inside the castle to outside if there were any invaders to keep away there were prehistoric and also Saxon remains found on this site also Roman remains as well but it's really the medieval period when things kick started that street leads down to the marketplace and Framlingham is pretty much the same size now as it was then and it's uh, an Anglo-Saxon name this is a pretty large place I have to say Fairly empty today. It's a February day, fairly cold, nevertheless. That makes it peaceful. The Bigard family owned other castles apart from family them, Bungay and Walton. Orford was built by King John just to remind them that he was around and he was forced to sign the Magna Carta by the Bigard family. And then he came back a bit later and took over the castle himself. Now, even with these massive, steep embankments to keep people out, I don't think they were necessarily filled with water. They might have been, but probably not. The Biggards decided to probably surrender peacefully. And the king got his castle. He died a year later though and the, the biggest got their castle back. So, happy ending in the end. Tower 5. That's where you shoot your arrows from. Ooh. These three pillars used to have a wooden bridge over them to allow people from the castle to visit gardens. The Mowbrays and the Howards owned the castle after the after the bigots and they regularly had run-ins with the monarch as well. This building inside the castle was a workhouse at one point, it's now a cafe and the gift shop but that is an area where people could work and live for nothing. Well they would work in order to live there. Here we have some Tudor chimneys built by the Howard family to make the castle appear a little more less military and they're all different designs some of them are purely decorative look at this beautiful uh, english rolling countryside this was once a park area where a hundred deer a year were hunted by the nobility they also used to hunt and eat pheasant and partridges this is the lower court and there is the Mere, a natural lake fed by the river Orr. And from the other side, the reflection of the castle in the water looks something like that. Into the area of the lower court. This would have been gardens once, just there.
So that concludes our brief look at Framlingham Castle. Pretty impressive, I think.